Welcome back everybody to another Joy Door review. In this review, we're going to be taking a look at the 5th member for the 10th Legion Flying Cavalry. This would be Type C. This is 118 scale action figure. The packaging comes in a wrapped plastic wrapped around the box, so I'm going to go ahead and remove that and we'll take a look at the packaging. Okay, I removed the plastic wrap from the packaging and this is a standard winter box we're starting to use to see from Joy Toy single, car, single box figures. On the front of the packaging, on the top right, we have the Joy Toy and the Battle for the Stars logo. On the left, we have a nice picture of the artwork of the figure. This looks pretty cool. This is the Flying Cavalry Type C there in the center and scale 18 there on the bottom right. The top of the packaging, we have the Joy Toy with the black and yellow. That looks really good. Battle for the Stars logo on the bottom. In the sides, both say 10th Legion Flying Cavalry C, which is Type C. Okay, and on the back, we have the 10th Legion at the top. The Joy Toy and Battle for the Stars logo on the top right. Um, you're going to pause to read this if you would like to do that. The first paragraph is the product information. The second paragraph is information about a joy toy. And the yellow paragraph here is a little bit of information and a little bit of recommendations. Um, if you want to read that. At the bottom, we do have warning for turkey hazard for children on the age of three. Um, these are for adult collectibles and they're recommended for ages 17 and up. And then we have the UPC here and these are made in China. There is, there's a nice window box here with two round pieces of Velcro in each corner here and here and here and here. Here is the uh, inner flap. This says 10th Legion Flying Cavalry. Nice, nice photo. And here is the figure inside the clamshell. You see the figure and all of accessories. Okay, let's get him out of the package and see what we got. So this, out of the three basic ones, this is probably the one I thought was going to be my favorite. And uh, let's see how he holds up to that theory of mine. So here's the overall look of him and the product shots. Hopefully the figure stands up to the product images. Joy Toy insert, we have Joy Toy here. And we unfold it, we have Battle for the Stars at the top. Then we have two very nice images of the figure in the front and the back, all geared up. On the other side, we have precautions. I recommend you read that. Just below that, we have a disassembly example. It so shows you how to disassemble your figure for if you like to take it apart for customs or remove the gear or fix any broken joints if you have the replacement joints. Here he is in a clamshell. Looks really good. These are just held together by some friction. So just grab the four corners. Get loosened up a little bit. So you don't send all your pieces flying across the room. Not too bad. Start off by taking a look at the figure. See what we got. Wow. We have some armor here sliding down off his arm. Bend of elbow, hands are turning. A oh, little stiffness there, not much. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and take a look at that head sculpt. It's pretty good. Dark brown hair. We have a beard. Good T type figure. Basic looking. Oh, look at the back of the head there. It's actually shaved just on the back of, the, just above the neck. That's interesting. So it's from the back of the ears around. And uh, it's kind of kind of a unique this type of hair haircut. Looks like we have like an off-white scarf 
we have there's like a grayer there's still some bluish just like a bluish gray in that armor but we do have some gun metal on his chest here gun metal here and here we have red in the center um upper arm pads we have that bluish gray some red here on the bottom of the upper pad these gauntlets are flopping around pretty good we have the gunmetal, the red, and the bluish gray. These are definitely very, very loose. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, you have to get them up there around the elbow. But those look pretty good. That's what the back looks like. We have the pig hole for a shut back. He has a unique style vest on the back. It still does have that spinal cord look, but it's kind of just all paint, painted in one color, so it doesn't stand out as much. Then we have the uh, these black little tabs on the back. It's very cool. For his belt, we have a gunmetal uh, centerpiece. We have an off white uh, pouch here, and then we have like a mustard color pouch there. Then we have some black little pouches, gun metal piece here in the front. So we have a type of a grenade here. That's what it looks like at least. Yeah, kind of. And then on the lower end of the figure, we have the number 10 on the thigh pad that can hold the uh, gun holster. And this thigh pad has a unique style. This is actually a different one. I haven't seen this one before. So we have that bluish gray with the silver. Kind of like a little cross there in the middle. This is, this is interesting. We have kind of, kind of like little bolts. Here and here. Here painted a little silver on it. Too, too bad. Knee pads, nothing special. They're just basically the same color as the uh, his other armor. His lower legs, they don't have any shin guards. They're just pants with black boots. Overall, not too bad. Kind of noticed that foot was kind of like at a weird position. It's like it's almost like a perfect standing position, but it doesn't look like it's see how that is like perfectly flat but bending that way. Oh, it moves. Okay. So let's take a look at the articulation and see what that looks like. So the head for a taste 360. Side to side. Little down, little up. You get more if you remove that scarf. So the arms feel pretty good all the way around. Really nice. They go up about that far. But if you move the armor down, you can get a little more. But if you have your armor on, you're gonna get a little less. We have a rotation here at the elbow, 360. And then we have a bendable elbow. That'll get us our 90 degrees. Yep. That's good. The hands are the new type of wrist. The ball to just go all the way around like this in many different positions. There is chest articulation here, but you have to remove the vest for you to, to be able to utilize it. So he does have a an half crunch. Just go back some. Does a side to side waist swivel 360? It's there if you want it. Uh, let's see here, sitting. I thought this one was going to be a little tough because the way this curves up into here, and that was going to cause problems. So we're going to go with that for now. It's still not too bad, but if you remove the armor, you get a, a lot better range. We have thigh rotation, 
there. See how these knees are working. They feel pretty good for just being outside the box. Get your morning yearward ones. And the feet should have a full range. So we do have the down. A little bit of an up back to stationary. We do have the kind of a side to side type, like a rocker. And then we have that toe articulation up like so. And back to stationary. Two peg holes on his feet. Pretty good. Stands pretty decently. I definitely think I could maybe heat this figure a little bit just for comfort. Just to make sure we don't break nothing, but actually working pretty well out of the box um, so pretty decent so I haven't really had to heat any of the 10th Legion flying cavalry sets of, off of them so definitely improved on uh, the stiffness of joints so I'm gonna go ahead and get these accessories out of the clamshell and we'll go ahead and take a look at what we got Okay, first thing we'll take a look at is his helmet. Uh, his helmet is actually painted like the same color as his armor, which is pretty decent. He has a red V for a visor, looks pretty evil. And then we have a little bit of those breathing apparatus on this side of his helmet. We do have an antenna. And so a device here on his side. The back looks pretty cool. Has like a massive silver dome. The back part the side is pretty much the same as the other side. The top of it. These are actually uh, you have to remove the unmasked head to put these on. Unfortunately, they do not fit over top of the character's head. You have to remove it. So I'll go ahead and do that, and we'll take a look and see how that looks on the actual body of the figure. Okay, here's the helmet version on the uh, body of the this figure. Looks pretty good. Not too bad. It's the back of it. Now you do lose some of the articulation because of that scarf. You basically just got a 360 rotation, no side to side or up and down. If you want that, you have to remove the scarf. So let's go ahead and take a look at his pistol. See what we got. So we have that gun metal with the black grip in the front and those. The red dot sight there, or a little scope. Looks really good. Okay, and see what it looks like in his hands. Yep, he holds it pretty good. Same as the other figures. No problem. Not too bad. If you want a little flying gangster. There you go. Pretty cool. Now on this one to get it in the holster, you're gonna to have to get that one clip to come on this side and the other clip to fit just in front of the actual um, trigger guard. So I gotta see how well that fits. And here he is with the pistol inside the holster there. A little tricky, but if you get it just where I showed you, it fits pretty good, nice and snug. All right, let's take a look at his assault rifle. We have that gunmetal color, then we have the black clip 
grip the stock and just go up on top. So it's good. This is the same gun that comes with type A and B. I think you're pretty much getting the same accessories with the figures, the guns, and the jetpack are looks to be the same. Okay, here he is. He holds it really good. Same as the other figures. Not bad at all. Do you like the size of this weapon? It seems to come across perfectly to the other hand so you can actually get it to hold it in a nice position. Alright, so let's take a look at that uh, jet pack. It is basically the same one that Type A and B has. We have the gunmetal jetpack. We have the little wings here on the thrusters. We have the red, um, yellow and black warning strips. Here in the center we have the two caution ones with the yellow arrows. Two sculpted vents. And we have these little, little wings or stabilizers there on the uh, bottom. These are in a fixed position. Then we do have the internal um, thruster fan part inside there. I wish these were more of a adjustable piece. On the back side we have the peg. And like I said before, I wish they would have used the straps over the shoulders instead of the peg system. But it works. And you just find the peg on the back and just go ahead and push it in. It's pretty nice and snug, but as you can see, if you bump it, it does lose its positioning. So that's what it looks like on the back. Not too bad. Um, he does come with uh, two pairs of additional hands. One hand set is the okay, an additional gripping set. And then the other set is a fisted um, hand. So if you want to get into like hand to hand combat. And that would be all of his accessories. Okay, so. For comparison. Let's take a look at him. With the Type B. It's the back of him. really good fit together let's put him over here and then we'll get the type a take a comparison with him okay the back you can see that those jetpacks are the same I mean, you literally could probably just pick out your favorite one if you didn't want to buy all three of the standard ones. Um, if you didn't want to have the whole team. Um, for me, I kind of like the idea of having a small, quick attack uh, aerial team that doesn't require a vehicle. So here is the heavy with the uh, Type C. You can see that there is a uh, tremendous difference in the jetpack. And 
and our last one. Here he is with the uh, second heavy version. Very cool. So for price, these things are like from China, like 26 bucks. Um, there's a lot of them are still on pre-order here for any of your online stores in the United States. Um, they're probably pushing around $35. So you're going to pay around $35, $26 to $35 for each of these figures. They are also separately. Let's see if I can get them all in the frame so you guys can see. Now that we have all five reviewed and we can talk about them. So my favorite, I would have to say, is still the blue heavy here. This was my favorite out of all five of them. He stands out the most for me. So so feel free to uh, down in the comments. Uh, let me know which one you guys like the best. Which one's your favorite? If you're planning to pick up all five of them or just particular ones, um, if you have any questions, you can, you know, ask down in the comments. I'll try to help answer them the best I can. Um, I do know these are getting very popular. Um, usually, the Joy Toy figures don't sell out as quick as these have. Um, for example, if you do shop from Locker Toys, the two heavies, this one here. And the one on here on the end, they're sold out. And most places in the United States are just still pre ordered So if you're interested, you might want to consider pre-ordering once before those get sold out also. Uh, the three standard ones in the center, they're still available. And uh, But if there are any evidence to how well they're going to do, I'm betting they'll probably sell here very soon. Also, as a heads up in my, just as a little bonus for watching the video, the O9 Legion, or, yeah, those three figures, the Sergeant, the Captain, and then the Commander, those are actually sold out also. Those are, be, those are very popular too. With the new release of the uh, Fear Mac 2, the O9, now you, that's, you know, kind of re revamping the uh, popularity and the for the O9th Legion. So you already have the one mech. The Fear Mech 1. Now they're set to release Fear Mech 2. Which is also pre-order sold out. Yeah, so. Those are uh, relatively going quickly. So. Um, I'm just giving you. Trying to give you guys good content. Good information. That way you know down the road. You decide oh I want to buy the, you know, this set. Or I figure and then they're going to be gone. And you will not be able to add them to your collection. And that's not a cool thing to happen to anybody. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, that's about all I got for you guys. I want to thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you in our next review.